I was looking for an MFA in photography program specifically in Europe, uh, also focusing on darkroom photography. I really wanted to leave the US and find something that had this just sort of something else, something quite different. I was interested in getting my master's and I was also very interested in the, in the European art scene, the contemporary European art scene. I decided to pursue an MFA to really examine why I'm making art. For my master's, I wanted to take advantage of the opportunity to go outside of myself. Like I wanted a, a degree and to learn from people who had been from a different place than me. I was here for the post -bac program, and uh, which gave me a base knowledge, I suppose, of what to expect in coming back to Florence. It seems really daunting when you look at it, but then you get there and you start figuring things out. To kind of break into a culture and to break into like um, a people who are so closely knitted is um, a very difficult but really like a truly enriching experience. Your adaptability is definitely tested. Um, you can give up, you can go into a shell, or you can expand your adaptability and your creativity and make work that you never thought was possible. So I was like so stimulated by all of these things and being introduced to all of these new artists and these new galleries and these new, um, uh, this new way of working that I became totally lost, which was one of the best things that ever happened. It forced me to realize that I needed to step outside my comfort zone, whereas before I was content doing the things that I was used to. I really didn't expect to sort of have this um, this kind of profound awakening about myself in a global context and my art in a global context. In the beginning, when I first started making work, it was all about me and my identity and it was about finding myself and my culture. But now it's not just about me, it's about everyone and everything. You don't realize exactly how powerful it is until um, until you've been through it. <laughs> Some of the main highlights that I've gained out of my experience here is number one, the people. Here we have this enormous community outreach through um, the staff here. They, they're so well connected. They have different styles and approaches and that variety really was beneficial to me. It was certainly a professor and student relationship, but it became a friendship also. What came as a surprise is the amount of freedom we are given and the amount of support we are given. We are all complete, not even opposites. We're from different universes. And then Romeo and Jacob are managing to support all of us and understand all of us and bring the best in all of us. That is impressive. You get out of it what you put into it. You get from it what you want. Sachi is willing to give anything to you that you're willing to work for. You were really treated like an adult. If you came here, you know what you want to do, just do it and no one is going to stand in your way and this is fantastic. So I was surrounded by the most amazing people here. Even outside of school, like you walk in the street and you can become friends with anyone. This is beautiful about this country. This sort of different cultural influence um, has really has really been the probably the most valuable resource that I found here. Because of that, I have a really um, a better appreciation, I think, for my own culture and for um, you know the cultures of others that I've met along the way. I was able to remove myself from the American culture that I had come to know and make work based on me being an American outside of America. You're still provided with the tools to pursue a network back home if you return home. Um, on the other hand, you're also given the tools to pursue residencies and uh, open calls and opportunities within Europe. It's so centrally located in Italy as well as Europe that I 
and uh, travel is so affordable that I've had the opportunity to go all these different places I never thought I would. They specifically take you to areas of Italy that aren't generally sought after by tourists and people that come to Italy. So this allows us as students to experience these small parts of the culture that don't get talked about. I spend a lot of time in museums and galleries to be able to situate myself in both historical and contemporary contexts in terms of art making and theory. I am absolutely inspired by those visits. So I've seen things that are amazing and have definitely influenced the work I'm doing because there's, a his, there's always a historical context that I rely on to, to place myself in today. And just the atmosphere of Florence, Italy in general, it affected my work differently than how, than I originally thought that it would. Um, I thought that it would have more of an obvious presence. I wasn't expecting to see as much contemporary art here. It was a new level of acceptance of this contemporary art because before I would be like, it, can it be even called art? And now I'm like, okay, that's a great idea. That's a great concept. I actually love it. It resonates with me. Exposure on such a global scale was, uh, I mean, it's, there's nothing to compare it to. The most rewarding aspect of this program is being able to do something that I love and having the opportunity to take it as far as possible. Well, when I first came, the way I thought was I was an artist because I was painting and because I was drawing and because I was doing these specific things and that's what made me an artist. But I don't think that. I think that I'm an artist because it's what I live, breathe, and think. Like, I wake up and I need to create something. No amount of books you could read could ever prepare you for really what it's like to pursue art as a practice. And in order to do that, you have to really, I think, have a sense of love for what you do um, and a sense of need for what you're doing. You're in open water and you're, ha you're sailing that ship all by yourself, which means that there are a lot of different pathways that will get you to your destination. In getting my MFA, um, I think it's, it's definitely making me a stronger person and a stronger leader, which will help me uh, down the road in being an artist and maybe if I decide to go into teaching. I'm a better person, better artist. I've, I have a better understanding of the art world and academics and um, I feel prepared for a professional career. Thanks to the wonderful people I met here, I decided to stay in Florence and to teach photography here, uh, have my own dark room. I'm interested in creating art pieces and um, art experiences that can engage communities. So even, you know, if it's me starting a program or, you know, like making a, I don't know, a foundation, I don't know what I'm going to have to do, but I just want to make sure art never leaves our community. I'll always continue to make work, so that's the most important thing. I don't think Italy will ever leave me as a person, and I don't really think I'll never come back to Italy. Um, because once you experience Italy, there's always a draw. There's no way that I can deny that this, choosing this school, choosing to live here, choosing to make my artwork in this way, I mean, it's given me opportunities that I wouldn't have had um, otherwise. And it's also, it's changed me in a certain way. Being here, it's made me see that art is so much more than just, you know, something that you look at. It, it, expands your worlds uh, in whatever ways you're willing to find and make it expand for you. I got more than I expected out of this whole experience and um, I think it's invaluable. I got everything I wanted and even more so 
I'm really happy and happily looking forward what's gonna happen next. I'm sure to keep in touch with everyone I met here and see how our lives overlap in the future. It's really been eye-opening and I'm forever changed because I made this decision. It's been much more than just making art. I fell in love with the culture, the language, people, in ways they have deeply affected my life. Looking back on this experience, after years have gone by, I don't know exactly what I'll say about it, but I know uh, that no matter what, I will be able to say that it changed my life.